Okay guys, welcome to another look at a video. I'm going to show you one of uh, the other machines I picked up fairly recently. Now this one, um, the one I've got I think is a kind of bootleg. This is based on, it was a, I can't, CGL, yes yeah, CGL made it. It was called Galaxy Invader. Now that was, that was kind of one of the very, very first a little handheld Space Invaders that came out. I never got to buy one. Um, I think it was too expensive at £20, 1995, something like that. Um, my mate Derek, however, did have one. Now, I have been trying to, uh, since rebuying all these, I've been trying, uh, like a sod, to actually buy this one, and I've been unable to get it. Um, you may you may remember in one of my Friday waffles I mentioned that I'd actually bought this and then the I bought and paid for it and then the asshole on eBay never ever sent it to me and then a few weeks later lo and behold they were selling it on uh, on I think it was Facebook Messenger not Facebook Messenger Facebook Marketplace um, so anyway yep yeah, what I've had to do is settle for a bootleg but. For all intents and purposes, it is exactly the same machine. So this one is called a computer game Electron Blaster <laughs> by Vanity Fair. Is that not a porn magazine? I can't remember. Possibly not. So anyway, yeah, this... Uh, I don't know. It kind of feels a bit more plasticky than the white one. Maybe not. I mean, the controls feel the same, the fire button feels the same, it plays the same. Um, can we see the back? Can we read that? I'm not even going to attempt to read that, you can read it for yourself. Yeah, like I said, this was one of the very, very first ones. I always remember seeing an advert, not an advert, I saw an article in the newspaper, and it was a... Uh, it was in one of the local newspapers and they were interviewing, the, they were talking to this little kid whose dad had bought this very machine, well not this one, but the, the CGL uh, Galaxy Invader. And he was saying how his dad was raving about this wonderful game called Space Invaders in the pub because obviously because this little kid was 12 years old, he wasn't allowed, allowed into the pub. So his dad bought him this uh, Space Invaders machine to sort of make up for it. But anyway, yeah, so this is this is not the real one. This looks like a kind of knockoff. But anyway, yeah, you've got... What have you got in the front here? Score at the top. I don't quite know what the... These actually stand for. 10. I don't know. Are these the points? Ah, possibly. So when an invader's at the top here, I think that's the UFO. 10 points, 3 points, 2, 1. And then I think if they get to the bottom, you basically get invaded. You know, buttons, you've got joystick left and right, you've got fire button, you've got on off, and you've got three skill levels. There's really, there's absolutely nothing to speak of on the back other than the uh, instructions. It takes four AA batteries, and on the top, it also takes, you can plug in a little... Uh, Power supply thing. So anyway, let's give this a go now. Apologies about the, the kind of shonky camera work. I'm going to be moving it. I'm going to try and keep it still if I can. So there we are now. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Now there's only... It's kind of glowing quite a lot. It doesn't look as glowy in real life. didn't seem to work well. Why did that? Why could I not switch it on and off? The only way to replay this is to switch it on and off. And I'm back again, there we go. But yeah, it plays identical to Galaxy Invader. It is, for all intents and purposes, Galaxy Invader, but just a, a different version. Now this one is fairly limited, like a lot of the early ones. There's only a sort of three positions. So if you let the fire button go, not the fire button, if you let the joystick go, your little man automatically centers. 
Mm, go back again, it takes a wee second for me to appear. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. Oh, there's a UFO, got like 10 points. So it is, it is fairly, it's fairly basic. But this was how we rolled back in 19, I don't know, 78, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, that was level, what was that, level 1? Let's try level 2, we'll give, we'll give it 3 goes. Right, power on. It should be slightly more difficult. It's a, uh, it's no uh, Astro Wars, put it that way. You can hear there is some uh, UFO sound. So you've got left, middle, and right, and that is it. For some reason, my wee ship it takes a second to appear. I do want to try and get the original Galaxy Invader though, because this, although it is the same, like that was level two. Let's stick on level three. Um, man, this is the hardest level. Yeah, it just doesn't really. I don't know. It's not the real thing. Like I say, this was one of the earliest little machines. Later ones um, did become obviously more uh, more technical. There was a lot more to them, and fortunately, I have got a few of these, so I will be able to let you see them in a later video. So yeah, there you go. That is it. That is Electron Blaster by Vanity Fair. It's basically Galaxy Invader. So anyway, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching.